ancient Egyptians told us they superseded an earlier kingdom. This is where history falls flat on its face and historical accounts of history prevails. How over the ages have we managed to class history as mythology, you have to wonder. It is simply because the powers that were at play on this earth thousands of years ago did not fit our understanding in relatively modern times. Humanity has over millennia been phased away from the real history that is in fact staring right at us in the face. Would it shock you if we were to tell you that the dynastic Egyptians themselves tried to leave historical documentation and accounts of history that puts the pharaoh period of ancient Egypt at the very end of a series of long reigns that literally spanned tens of thousands of years. Wait till you hear this. It is not a secret that the ancient Egyptians considered their civilization as the legacy of gods who came not from earth, but from elsewhere in the cosmos. And pre-dynastic Egypt seems to back up this theory. Apart from numerous puzzling physical objects and structures in Egypt that suggest the presence of an older, non-Egyptian civilization in Egypt, there are several textual references to gods and kings who ruled pre-dynastic Egypt. One of the most important ancient texts that can tell us more about this time in history is the Papyrus of Turin, which lists all the gods who came from above and reigned over the lands of Egypt before the first mortal pharaoh. The Egyptians believed that in the beginning, their land was ruled by a dynasty of great gods, of whom Horus, the son of Isis and Osiris, was the last. He was succeeded by a dynasty of semi-divine beings known as the followers of Horus, who, in turn, gave place to the historical kings of Egypt. During the early pharaoh period, or the dynastic period of Egypt as it may be referred, an effort was made to tell of a before time where the gods that are depicted across the Egyptian region were real, living, breathing beings that ruled over the lands, skies, and sea. It is written that the first 12 of these gods ruled the region for a period of 14,000 years, and this started 30,000 years before the birth of Christ, followed by demigods and the spirit of the dead over 11,000 years. The Sumerian king lists likewise refers to kings who rule pre-dynastic Sumer. If interpreted correctly, the years are implausibly long, something like a quarter of a million years which even predates the Egyptian gods' reigns. Nevertheless, it refers to ancient kings and specifically to kings who ruled before the Great Flood. At some point in history, we categorized this away and dismissed it as mythology. How ignorant has humanity been through the ages? It is shocking to think that the true history of the earth is literally suppressed on a global scale. Is this because the early western civilizations refused to tell their people that an empire existed on this earth before the great flood that would surpass anything modern humanity could ever dare to invent in their mind? The Egyptians pride themselves on being the most ancient people in the world. In their authentic annals, one may read that since they have been in existence, the course of the stars has changed direction four times, and the sun has set twice in the part of the sky where it rises today. It just gets more and more obvious to us that the ancient empire existed and started in Sumer, eventually leading out to Egypt. We only think back to a time that we are wrongly taught started 5,000 years ago and collapsed around 2,500 years ago. It's crazy that this information is kept from us, you have to wonder why this would be. Perhaps every individual human holds more power and more thought power than we really understand. We go from the cradle to the grave without understanding why the hell we even exist. But if you consider the fact that most of us ask this question through our lifetimes and we can't imagine a complete end to our soul, it must go somewhere, right? Maybe the answer to this question still lies in the historical accounts of the afterlife that can still be found in Egypt. There are some researchers who believe that by calculating the decrypted information obtained from the papyrus of Turin, we obtain the initial period, referred to as the kingdom of Ptah, creator and first ruler of ancient Egypt, dating back 39,000 years. Egyptology and the official history tells us that everything to the pre-dynastic era is regarded as a myth without much historical value. 
The Palermo Steel is another incredible ancient text that mentioned the pre-dynastic rulers of ancient Egypt. This ancient steel even makes reference to Egyptian god Horus, suggesting that he was a physical ruler of the ancient Egypt thousands of years ago. Another Egyptian god, Thoth, is said to have reigned over the lands of ancient Egypt from 7100 BC. Time to wake up. History is replete with information that is directly telling us what was happening on the earth in the very distant past. All we have to do is open our eyes and awaken from the slumber we have been the victims of throughout modern times. What do you guys think of the physical ancient ruler gods that existed in the Egyptian region in the very remote past? Comments below and thank you for watching.